This is Berberus thumbergii atropurpurea rose glow. It's a mouthful, but it is a variegated um, Berberus atropurpurea, atropurpurea. And um, here you can see a close up of the foliage and what makes it unique and why we like it. So it has a kind of creamy to pink variegation to the leaf. And also look down inside. See how the older leaves are green? and then some are red. That's very typical of a lot of variegated plants and I just want to talk about that. If you don't give this plant good sun you will not get this variegation that you're looking at. The more light you give it the better for the variegation and you can see that even inside of itself where it starts to shade out its own older leaves you lose the interest in the variegation of the plant. There you go again, 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 see and see that. So be very aware of that when you're deciding if I want this plant and where will I put it, it needs to be in sun. So this is a deciduous uh, shrub. It is five to seven feet tall and wide and um, that tends to very depend on um, water and nutrients and um, other things to do with the environment. And um, also when they're young, they do like to have good moisture to settle them in. I see a lot of barberries in our area when they're young, people underwater them, they try and get, you know, see if they're drought tolerant and they burn quite a bit during the summer. So um, I recommend that you put these in a place where they can get regular moisture uh, during the summer. They're a deciduous shrub. They are thorny. Uh, one of the reasons the deer leave them alone is because they are very thorny. So if you want to use these as a barrier plant as well as an accent, that's a, a good uh, use for these um, to keep people from moving through a space you don't want them to move through. Um, so its primary point of interest is foliage color. It contrasts nicely here against this Viburnum davidi, so you can really see the color and um, its point of interest. And it's that's kind of a larger shrub, uh, medium to large. So size-wise, I would space these probably four feet on center if I were using them. And uh, because they are deciduous, I don't. And also. It's an accent. I tend to use, this would be about as big of a group as I would normally use them in. This is uh, probably three plants uh, against this wall here. And uh, I think that's the main thing. Full sun, they're very cold tolerant. They're down to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, great accent plant. So that is Berberus thumbergii atropurpurea rose glow. A uh, very nice accent plant in the right spot. Again, make sure you give it plenty of light. A couple of things I forgot. These have very nice red fall color and also in certain areas you will get a nice berry production which the birds like. So um, I don't see the berries in our area but um, that is a thing to note in nice cold areas. I'm not sure what triggers that. And they have a yellow flower that's fairly inconspicuous. And that is Berberus Ruby Glow. Enjoy.